Hey everyone, Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, DevOps TV, here live on the expo floor at Jenkins World at our broadcast hub. I'm joined by Kevin Burnett of Rosetta Stone. Kevin, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. You know, Kevin is, is a genuine practitioner. He's a very active member of the Jenkins community. And actually, until recently, Kevin tells me he was the leading commentator or person uh, regarding Stack Overflow with Jenkins, but as a result of preparing for Jenkins World, he kind of lost his title. Alas. But you'll get it back. Indeed. You'll get it back. So Kevin, you spoke here, at, are you speaking at, at Yeah, Jenkins I just had World? a presentation, talked about how we do DevOps at Rosetta Stone. So. so Clue us in. How do you do DevOps at Rosetta Stone? Yeah, so I, I talked a little bit about some of the some of the difficult sort of uh, people related issues that we had to uh, overcome. You know, we say cultural. It's never people. Of course, it's not the people that no, no, are the problem. They're all good people. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but what were some of these cultural issues? Sure, sure. So, uh, moving to continuous delivery is, um, I guess, we knew it would be hard, and it was hard, and it was totally worth it. Was it? Yeah. Why, why was it worth it, Kevin? So it's amazing the difference between releasing every two weeks and releasing for every story. So it's, yeah, it, I don't know that folks would have predicted it, but it's, it just, it changes the way, it changes the way you work and everyone loves it after you've done it. So. Right, okay. Because, you know, it's interesting. I had a few discussions here today and uh, for instance, Electric Cloud came out with a DevOps Insight that actually can kind of pin a, the reasons why using continuous delivery and releasing more often actually makes the, a, for a better organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been, you know, there, beyond sort of the gut feeling of, hey, I love it, or it feels good, or I inherently know it must be good to do this, and releasing more often and faster, and all faster is better. There's actually real numbers behind it that it is better. Right. How, talk to me if I can on the Rosetta Stone transformation. Was this, did you have top-down support, executive support, middle out, bottom up, all of the above? How did it come about? Sure, so there was, there was a lot of openness at all levels. Um, there wasn't necessarily explicit, we must do this now, it must be done in a month, sort of like top-down executive sort of like action, but there was essentially enough support to allow for people to be working on this full time and for the for them to essentially figure out the best way to do things and to form coalitions and actually get it done excellent excellent how long has this process been going on it's i guess it, i guess probably for the entire sort of duration of the company in unofficially but okay. in terms of like as using the name devops it's been about two years okay very cool and you guys use Jenkins, you're active in the Jenkins community. What other kind of within the ecosystem, if you're allowed to mention, what other kind of tools in the ecosystem do you guys use? Sure. So uh, in terms of source control, we do use the Atlassian uh, product Bitbucket sure. server. Yep. So uh, that, that treats us well. We, uh, in terms of, uh, I guess, let's see, we use Docker in terms of builds and, depl and deployments. So you're doing containers. We in are, production. we are. Yeah, we are, and and I guess, for, in terms of comparing the, the how helpful these tools have been, Docker has definitely got to be. I see some at Jenkins World. Obviously, Jenkins is number one, but but Docker has been hugely beneficial. Are you using the Docker uh, management tool as well? But, uh, we're we, we don't we're not using uh, Docker Enterprise, but but we we uh, yeah we're 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 using most of the Docker tooling that they provide from the Community Edition. Yeah. yeah so you guys are big open source. We are. Shop. Yeah. Excellent, man. Is this your first Jenkins World? It is. Yeah. What do you think? It's great. It's uh, it, there's, it, you can learn a lot from from the internet, from mailing lists, but it's it's a different thing being uh, here in person. It's really uh, it gets you excited. Very cool, man. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for appearing today. Thank you for presenting at Jenkins World as well. Really? And continued good luck at Rosetta Stone. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Kevin Burnett, Rosetta Stone. This is Alan Schimmel with DevOps.com and DevOps TV here at Jenkins World.